Um, I'm gonna go try to fix my ring door now. Well, it's a generic doorbell, but I'm gonna try to fix it. I'm just gonna hit my phone because I haven't, heard, I haven't really posted much of that. I have been going through a lot as far as my health, my um, being a single mom, um, being just been trying to deal with those things and do it properly and feel healthier um so i have been going to the local area ymca so i can swim um <sighs> i felt good i've been sore um, i'm gonna try to go again today i don't know if i'm gonna go this morning or tomorrow because um i only let 13 and over in with an adult and my son turns 12 next week on the 29th which i'm super excited about he just wants a little wasabi and have some friends over, which is perfectly fine. Which reminds me, I should probably start sending texts to at least a few people so that he can have his birthday dinner. Um, what else? I've just been inspired by watching vlogs. Being stuck here in the house, our Ohio rates are going up as far as COVID numbers. So, our governor is mandating masks if we go out um, tonight at 6 p.m. Um, and if you don't, well, you can get fined, you can get thrown, you know, get locked up for a little bit, uh, charge it, you can get charges for it, I guess, or he's threatening to lock us down again, full-fledged, 100% lockdown, don't go anywhere unless you're essential, that's what he's trying to do. So, I'm up this early, it is approximately 8.40. And um, I've been up since four. My son came in and woke me up because my TV had turned off, so he's a scaredy cat. It was dark outside, so he wanted me to be away, obviously, or turn my TV back on. So we sat here, we watched TikToks. We watched TikToks for a little bit, and we watched um, an ID crime show that he wasn't really happy about. He was really like. He got mad at some parts of it, but you know, he's growing up, he's learning. Um, he had soccer practice uh, yesterday, which was his first practice. He was so excited, he was so nervous, and he did great. He told me to stay in the car, he wasn't allowed to get out or anything. So, um, and it's like where I park, it has a small hill, and then at the top is where all the soccer fields are. So, um, we did that, and he smelled so bad. When he got done, he got in the car. My car was rank the bank. <laughs> but it's nice for us to get out of the house a little bit. We've been stuck in the house for like almost six months now. We've only been going in and out for what we need to. You know, I can't get it because I don't want to be sick. So I don't want to get COVID at all. So I'm trying to avoid it at all costs. And it's getting worse. So I'm really, really nervous about it. So I've been watching a lot of YouTube. I've been watching Fathering Autism. I've been watching Rebranding Autism. Um, I've been watching Kira Shears' uh, YouTube channel. I've been watching um, The Walls Group, um, Terrell Bryce. And um, I've just been watching a whole bunch of YouTube and it's crazy and TikToks. And I really wanna wait. I really wanna make one and do some of the dances. And my son is always so embarrassed with me. He's not gonna do it with me. If I, I'm gonna try to talk him into let me do TikTok. Cause I love it. I love what I and Lad Baby and uh, Mark and Roxanne Hoyle. Hilarious. Rox's dance are amazing. She's so awesome. And um, so yeah, we're dealing with this pandemic. Um, I'm starting to vlog more because I need to um, document what's happening in my life. Um, I want to document experiences. I want to document what's going on as far as the world's concerned, as far as the United States is concerned as far as my state is concerned and as far as my family is concerned um i'm still terrified i'm literally anxious so anxious about it um but you know staying in for me is the best way um to stay healthy is the best i'm going to do um i've been going and doing doctor's appointments virtually um so i'm gonna call my pain management doctor today and hopefully i can get in soon because i haven't heard from them since i got the referral and that was a month ago so, I'm going to have to call and give them a piece of my mind because you know what I'm saying?
Your girl needs some help with her chronic pain because, girl, it has not been working out for me. Let me tell you, a couple, or last week, my central air conditioning went out. Mind you, I just bought a house. I bought the house almost two, it'll be two years in November. And AC worked fine, worked fine all last year, worked fine up until March of this year. Then it decided it was done, didn't want to work anymore. So, after it decided to ruin my life, um, we sat in an 85 to 87 degree house uh, for three days. My legs were swelling because of my arthritis. My stomach was cramping. I was getting so overwhelmed, so anxiety ridden. I was just getting so bad from the heat here in Ohio. It's been a scorcher. It's been up in the hundreds and they don't see it slowing up anytime soon. Um, so it's hot here. Now I'm not complaining, but I'm complaining because I have chronic illness. And with the humidity we have here and the high heat, it's not good for me. The whole point for me from buy, for buying my home is was because of the central air conditioning. So I had to move out of my apartment, wanted to buy a house, central air. I lived on a second story um, apartment building and like to do laundry, I had to walk down three flights of stairs to the basement, do laundry back and forth, back and forth. It was really, really hard on my legs. It was really hard on my body. Um, and, and it was hurtful. Like it just, it just all, it just hurt to do it. Um, like, and you know, Christmas things were down there. So I had to go up and down, up and down. Um, doing this by yourself and having chronic illness is, it's pretty hard actually. It's, it's not fun at all to have chronic illness and chronic pain, but I deal with the cards that I'm given. Um, so I, I called a contractor's office and, um, cause they had serviced it last year. Um, it needed like a, a, a kit to go on it. Um, and, uh, it was going to cost them for, it was going to cost me $400, which I didn't have at the time because I had just bought the house. Um, we had just came back from, um, Universal. Uh, and that, that winter, we went to Universal that winter. So when spring came and I didn't turn on and the air wouldn't kick on, I had to ask them what's going on. So, um, my warranty company covered that, that charge and it worked great. It worked all through last season. And then, um, about March of this year, it started getting really, really hot. So it was like, turn it on. My house is 68, it has to be 68, if not cooler. And I have a fan on right now. See? And that is a cattail hanging out of my window. Um, so, uh, they came out again, the same company that fixed it last year. Um, and he said, you know, change the air filter and he said that it had tripped a breaker. So he reset everything. It came back on. So he was like, okay, it's going to take about a degree, an hour to pull down. Sweet. So my son was at his cousin's birthday party um, at a resort called Kalahari here in Ohio. It's a water park um, to celebrate her birthday. So he was gone for three days. Um, and they, you know, he was in air conditioning. I was able to swim. So I was really happy that he wasn't really involved in um, the heat crisis we have had. And I called disability places where they help you with things like that, um, especially, especially um, purchases that last, that last and that are huge purchases for people who are homeowners and disabilities. Hold them the messages for people, you know, you can't go in and get an appointment because of COVID. Uh, all you can do is call and leave voicemails. Nobody called me back. I called my lady from um, where I took my homeowner's classes that I had to take to buy my home. Um, I called her to ask some of her contractors. She said they didn't have anybody. So I called the people to come back out to see if I needed to get the whole unit replaced because it is uh, 20 years old. And it's a three ton unit and they said that I probably could do with the two ton unit which is a lot cheaper. and because my house is only 720 square feet. It's not, it's not big at all. It's like a small ranch for us. Um, so they were like the contractor that I called out last time. Um, I mean, the week before I had called to get him out here. 
No, it was actually a day. It was a day. It was a day. So, so let's say, I believe it was um, a Thursday night. Okay, so Thursday day, he came out to fix it, put in the air filter, checked the connections, rebooted the um, breaker, rebooted the machine, boom, start kicking out cool air. The next, oh, uh, that morning, next morning, the following morning, I got up at about two or three because I was literally pouring in sweat. It was so hot, I didn't understand what in the world was happening. And so I went and looked at the thermostat and it was back up to 80 degrees. And I was like, it stopped. So I'm like putting my feet over the vent, like trying to feel if it's cold air. And I looked outside and the fan and the um, unit was not turning at all. So I know it was broken again. So I called the contractor's office. Contractor came back out and looked at it and was like, yeah, you need a brand new system. I can do it for 3000 for if you want to take out a credit on it to pay for it. Or um, you could charge it by credit card, which was like $2,900. And then cash up front would be $2,800. Which, I'm a single mom, I'm on disability, I'm on, this is Crohn's restriction, I can't really do. My things that I like to do, I like to sell my nails, I like to go, go to the homes and help prepare, like help people just put them on or talk to them if they need a consultation from me. Um, and I've been doing some ambassador um, uh, uh, deals from um, different companies. So if you follow me on Instagram, Crony Queen AB, um, you'll see that I've posted a, a whole bunch of um, ambassadorships that I'm doing. So I'm getting a lot of free products and I'm supposed to be reviewing them and I get codes for it and so you guys can buy from me. So um, I'll plug that in as soon as I can. Um, so anyway, he says, yeah, need a new one. So I call my warranty company because I pay for my warranty monthly just for these purposes for having a home. They tell me they're only going to pay $647 of the AC unit repair. Okay. The it's not helpful to me. Um, they said it's 20 years old, so it's depreciated. So my logic is, okay, so we pay car insurance to make sure if something happens to our car, or it breaks down, or we get hit by somebody, or we hit someone, something, or an object, we use our insurance, right, to get it paid for and covered, right? To cover your butt and to cover the other person's car if they need help, assistance, uh, total it out, or whatever. Um, so, why would you pay insurance, just like I pay my warranty, and not get full coverage of what is listed in my list of warranty coverings, which is my air conditioner, air conditioning unit replacement. It's on there, $50 deductible, boom. They're supposed to pay for this didn't happen they said that they depreciated it so six hundred and forty seven dollars is all they were going to apply for a new system mind you my legs are swelling 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 throbbing throbbing feet are throbbing 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 crohn's life arthritis life mom life my son mom 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 he's freaking out because the xbox is overheating because the house is getting hotter and hotter and hotter um and we're having fans we're trying to circulate stuff in here I'm sweating from just doing normal stuff. We literally had to eat out probably for a whole week. We ate out because I could not turn on the stove or anything. So finally I put out like this mass uh, uh, posting and on Facebook, like if anybody knows anybody with HVAC or contracting and, and you know, I, I can make, if I can make payments to you or if we can set something up, I just need, somebody to come and get me back on at least to get me through the summertime and then um you know i can save up all winter and i can get the, a two-ton unit and get it replaced next year you know so i can start putting a little bit away put a little bit away because now i know how much it's gonna cost me now i can plan and prepare now mind you last week before this happened earlier that week i had to get my brakes rotors tires rotated um, I needed, uh, you know, rotors, brake pads, and everything on both sides in the front of my car. So that was $600. So I financed that to pay $50 a month to pay for my car repairs. And then, like, two, three days later, this happens. 
with my AC unit. So we're looking at almost $4,000 that was gonna need to be spent in a matter of a week. Now I know home ownership is difficult. I knew things like this could happen, which is why I purchased the dang on warranty page. I mean, warranty page, girl. The warranty company, right? So that it could cover large purchases that I might need as a homeowner, single mom with disability that gets one check a month from the government. And they say, here, figure it out. This is what you get, pay your bills with it. So I finally found a person, uh, one of my old co-workers um, from another uh, job that I had. And my mom and my grandma worked with them, so we're really good friends with them. And they had a friend that does it on the side, like they just fix air conditioners on the side. And so I sent him pictures and measurements of the furnace and things like that. And he goes, hey, yeah, I can come out. I want to look at it and see if I can help you out. Pause. What do you see? What do you see? That's pumpkin the cat. Um, so he comes out. He tries, you know, two different things to try to get it working, get it back on. They don't work. So he goes, you know what? I'm going to drill a hole and I'm going to put the wires through that. I'm going to strip them off, put them back together, replace the wiring that had been burnt and it was tripping my breakers. And he got it to turn back on. He got it to turn back on. So I asked him, I said, how much do you want? And he goes, Oh, about $25. I was only here for an hour. Wait, what? $25? This whole company done said I need $3,000. That I asked them, well, can you, can you just replace the part? Oh, no, you need the whole unit replaced. Okay, this man who does this on the side, who has been working, he's worked on the exact same unit that I have, fixed it and got it up and running. Wanted me to pay him $25 for what he did out here. I mean, I, you know you're getting screwed over when something like that happens to you. Especially as a woman and as a single mom and everything and my disability, which they knew about. And they still wanted to price gouge me, really. I mean, and get me anxious and upset about it and have to pay them. This whole man that don't even do this for a living, he works a full-time job, came here after work one day, worked about an hour and a half on the damn machine. He did it, did two different things to it, tinkering with it. Then the 13th, then the 13th, then the third thing he did, coldness, I, I pulled the breaker back, told him, let's work it, came back on instantly. Haven't had a problem since, it's been a week since he's been, since he's been here. Like, when I say thank you, God, I said thank you, God. When I came in here, I ran around the house and said, God is real, God is real, God is great, and thank you. I dedicate my whole life to you because I, your girl was literally about to melt. Like, everything, everything was going to melt off of me. That's how hot I was. I felt like I was in an oven that somebody was trying to roast me as a fat pig hog ham hawk that's how i felt it was freaking roasting so yeah that was that's been literally what's happened to me for about for the last for the last month that's really that's all been going on nothing really new um as far as you know crones wise um anything like that so i'm gonna go i'm gonna go and call this pain management place again see if i can get in see if i can get an appointment i'm going to do something to this face look at how bad i'm breaking out this is all from stress i usually have beautiful skin it's not now because i friend okay so Peace out, like, comment, subscribe, share if you want to. 
tell all your friends about it. I'm going to link some of my ambassadorships in the description for you. And I will see you. Hmm. But I feel like picking up my phone and vlogging again. Okay. So you all have a fantastic day. Don't let anybody steal your shine. Keep pushing. Find an alternative way. And live, honey. Just live. Peace.